Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the pristine, untouched wilderness of the Calm Lands. Because I would. I would do anything and everything to help a friend who is in dire straits like that. So that's the situation I'm talking about. That's all I'm asking you to think about is that situation arises, wouldn't you be upset that they hadn't come to you for help? Or do you think that your friend should just you know, lose their home um, and not say anything to you. Because the argument that some people put forward was, well, no real friend would ask you to loan them money if you were in, you know, a pretty tight situation. And, well, or, you know, ordinarily, yes. If the friend was using the money to go and buy a car, then probably they're not a true friend. But there are some situations where such a thing would be would be needed um personally i would i would want them to come to me and ask for help that such a situation arose um anyway so that's the, the loaning money to the friend um we can argue semantics on that some of the time as the also one other one that i've added in because people said that i need to add in some beneficial ones so there is one where the animals uh breed more than they have previously or they used to be we used to have one like that i'm not going to add that in yet there's also bonus crops i'm going to leave that one out as well um just for now maybe i'll do some changes for that in the future but there is one i've added in which is we win the lottery now, I'm not talking about a massive win on the lottery that is life-changing and would pay off all our debt. And, uh, well, just, just pay everything off. Nothing like that. It's a small win on the lottery, right? You know, so, some of the numbers came up. So, if we get the win the lottery one, I will then roll a d12. And we win 1,000 euros per spot that shows up. So, if we are lucky, we get that one and then we roll a 12. We get 12,000 euros that we won on the lottery. All right, that's that's a fair slice of cash. If, you know, it, it might be that we win 1,000. And let's be honest, the, 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 the point we've reached in the game now, 1,000 is not going to be game-changing. Um, 12,000 is going to help us quite a bit, but it's still it's not going to be sort of game-breaking or changing like that. It's just going to help us along rather nicely. So that's why I've got that one in there. And I feel that um, I feel that that is a good balance because we we got to get the the thing to come up in the first place. And at the moment, that's a chance of um, one in seven is the, the the chances of that coming up. So we've got a one in seven chance of winning the lottery, and then you know, I probably shouldn't drive into the car, so. No. And there's another one, of course there is. You know, if I actually looked at where the traffic was, it would probably be easier. Okay, so I've not been down along this road. We did have a little bit of a walk, but I'm curious how long it's going to take us to drive. Mainly because I want to get the water out of the lake rather than getting the water from somewhere else. Because I feel it's going to be a lot easier for us. I'm also curious. I've got the weight, I think I've got the weight limits on. I can't remember if I got them on or off. If I've got the weight limits on, what's it going to be? How much water is this tanker actually going to be able to carry? Because I'm not sure it's going to be able to take the full 15,000 litres. It's a long road, isn't it? Hmm. I'm not sure I'm going to want to do this trip very many times. I haven't even found out yet if we can extract water from the lake like we might get all the way down here and then find out that we can't remove any water at all and then what are we going to do we're just going to be sat there like lemons and why did i come down here it's fine it's fine we're just out for a afternoon drive middle of january animals are fed crops are growing in the, growing in the field there's, there's literally no work that we can do on our farm at the moment so the only thing that we really have got time for right now is enjoying a drive. So we have once travelled down here and had a brief look around. We're now going to just have another brief look around. Not much of a look around, just just a little, little mosey about, see what's what. I'm not even going to go sightseeing and explore the bridge. I just want to come down here and get down to that lake. So the turning is just here. 
outside this bit. Actually, let's just have a look at the map a minute. Uh, there. Oh, I see. Right. So, the I was wondering where this road went. Uh, if we carry on here and we go back up. So, we go back up and it will go back to that main road up there. Or we can go up this one and hit main road. But we'll want to go back that track, the, the one that we went on before. So, um, we won't be going anywhere else. Now, the big question is what do we do here? Do I... I no, I, oh, okay, so I don't need to back down the hill all the way. It is a steep old hill, though. We'll drive down this way, around the loop. And I'm hoping this will allow us to get much closer to the water. Then we can turn around and we can reverse back in. Yeah, that does seem... Oh! Okay, so we didn't need to go around the loop. We've got a we've got a, um, a turnaround down here. I mean, it's a bit waterlogged, but we should be all right. We're going to get stuck in there. And now the big question. If I reverse this, so you, you do have to actually reverse these into the water to be able to fill them. If I just bring that one up, should you first need to fill the tool? Ah, it's saying R already. Ah, there we go. We didn't even need to go into the water very far. So, we can now fill... That's going to take a while. I'm weighing up the pros and cons of travelling back with this. We've got the maximum weight that we're allowed in this trailer. So, in this game, for those of you who don't know, you've got a setting now. Which is here, I think. Uh, trailer fill limit. Trailers can only be filled until the maximum allowed weight is reached. So, you have a maximum allowed weight. And the maximum allowed weight on this one is 7,672 litres of water. So, 7.67 tonnes is allowed in this trailer. You can turn that off so that you can just fill the trailer all the way up. And I was wondering whether I should. But this is a hardcore series, so we won't do that. It's also, I'm thinking it would be a lot more difficult to pull up this hill if we fill it all the way up to max. Because he's struggling already. Go on, you can do it. Go on, Bessie. You can do it. Pull harder, girl. Go on, you can do it. Oh, she looks pretty cool there. Look at that. Look at that. See the power going? If you had a little bit more weight on the nose, it would probably help. Go on. All the way. Keep going. Just keep going. You're almost there. Oh, he's slowing down now. Yeah, this this is this is the tough bit. This, this is where this is where the, the the pain really sets in. And we've done it. Right, okay, so we okay, we we almost done it. Yeah, I'm thinking that driving up out of there with the full 15 tons on the back would have been a little bit of a challenge if we could get a little bit of weight on the nose of that tractor in order to do it next time I might be alright but I didn't actually want to remove the weight limits on trailers on this playthrough um, I have seen one or two trailers that I've used previously that I feel the weight limits were set too low on so I have like temporarily disabled it but I don't know if I did it on this one or if I did it somewhere else all right, real life interrupted for a moment. Um, yeah, so I, the, the the weight limits, I, we'll leave them as they are, at, well, just at the moment. We're going to go back, we're going to buy some pigs, we'll put the water in, and then I will see. Because if the water is going to be used up too quickly, and thus pushing us to do a lot more trips backwards and forwards, I'm less inclined to... Um, leave the weight limits. I suppose we ought to really. I I can't I, I can't justify in my own head removing the weight limits. I, I can't really do that. Um, this is just a single skin tanker. If I fill this thing all the way up and they go bouncing along this track, all that's going to happen is the sheer volume and weight of that water is going to end up bursting the side of the tank. So, it's probably in our best interest not to fill this thing all the way up to the top. 
Uh, because, yeah, I, I'd, I'd like the, the tanker to be able to get back with at least some of the water on board, and it's not going to do that if we if we don't treat it right. So, Also, it's going to take a lot longer to haul itself all the way back up here. You never know, we might win the lottery tomorrow, and then be able to afford to buy a water tank up by the farm. The only problem with that is you then have to pay for water because, uh, you, you know, you, you've got to pump it to the tank. Uh, so you've either got to pay for it with your time and effort and uh, your fuel and so on, um, running it like this, or we've got to do it with a water tank at the farm, and then we've got to buy the water from the tank there, which is time con well, necessarily time-consuming, but you've still got to buy it, which is costing money. So I don't think there's anywhere here, unless that pipe is something I don't think that anything here is a water source I don't think that you've got a point here where we can go and get water not even that bit up there that comes out of the ground I wonder, let's have a look on the map a minute uh, right so we've got load points here there's charge point there electric charging station we've got gas Biomethane, agro pet, animal dealer, it's medieval granary. This is all stuff that I've put in there. So there's nothing else there. Um, no. Right, it doesn't look like there's a water spot. Uh, hot spots, tip loading. Yeah, it doesn't specifically look for one for water you've just got to find the loading spots all right okay we, we, we won't worry about that um just going to drive in there at the moment so we go up here around where the chicken pen is so we'll be staying on the track and then we will come over this way we need to do some work here just level this out a bit build the track all the way around so that we can make use of it and if i go there Start filling that. It doesn't matter if you have no pigs or one pig or what in here. Right, so it only takes 3,000 litres of water, which means that when we fill this thing up, probably gonna, it's, it, we're not going to do too bad with that one. So we're going to go over here and we're going to get our first pigs now. We've got 6,000 out of 9,500 for food and we've got 3,000 litres out of 3,000 litres for water. Um... The only thing is, there's several mods that we've found in the past that they do things like take the base game stuff. Now, this one's for 30 pigs. And they increase the numbers. Like, this one has now increased it to 98. And they've removed the outside of the pen, but the other bit is basically the same as this one here. Have a look there. It's the same. Like they, they've basically just used this pattern, but then they've added a bit more on the mod, so they've changed it around a little bit. They may not have increased the capacity because we've had some before where they haven't actually increased the capacity of the yard, so you end up having to fill up with food like three times in a day. Uh, well, that was actually in the Rizzi Forest with the cattle. So this may be something similar, in which case I'm going to have to make some modifications. But we won't worry about that just at the moment. So th there is always that possibility. Now, I want to go to here. And we're going for... Well, we've got... I used the German land race in Old Stream Farm. I've got... Large blacks that I'm using in the time lapse. So we're going to go with the Bentime Black Pied. It's the ones we're going to go for. So I want to get them, and I want nine pigs. Nine is what we're going to do. We can't do ten because we don't quite have the capacity for that, so we'll do nine. That's going to cost us 2,000 euros. Well, 2,000, almost 2,100. So I buy them. There we go. And we now have our first pigs in the pen. 
They're hungry little piggies. First thing they did was come straight down here and start eating straight out of the trough. But then that's what pigs do. That's what pigs do best. Uh, is that other one? Is, is anyone else going to join them? Nope. It's just these two. These two are going to reach record weights in no time at all. Anyway, that's our pigs. Let's, um... You know, I'm going to go stand up here. So, they've got some shelter up there. Um, yeah, they don't have a lot of straw, admittedly, but they'll be fine. They'll be fine. And next, I'm going to go here. Landscaping. We'll go to painting to start with. So, we've got... That's animal mud. Dirt. Right here. Okay, so it's the dirt texture that we're using at the moment. Bring this over here. And then we've got this grass here, which I thought I'd already gotten rid of some of this grass. Maybe I didn't. You know, I'm not sure if I did or I didn't. I am going to get rid of it there. Make that one a little bit bigger like that. Um, and then we'll go here, like this. And then I'm going to start making a track around that way. Bring it out a little bit there. I don't want to get too close to the inner parts of this track here. I want to bring it out. There we go. We'll bring it out along this way. There. And here. Around here. There we go. Okay. And right. So the the mud up through here, I'm going to just basically I'm just going to widen this a little bit, but I'm not going to do very much else with it. I'm just going to kind of leave it like that. And then this will build it's going to have a little track that's just going to come out there. Like that. A bit more on the track is going to come out here like this. So then I'm, well, we're going to be driving up here a bit more now. So we can get rid of some of this grass up here. And then this is going to kind of come out that way. We've got more coming out here. Because we're going to go, we'll, we'll be traveling now to get water, won't we? I actually need to put that piece across there. It's just going to come out here like this. Right, so we're going to have to get water. What we've got here is we've got the stone lane, but the mud from the animals here has sort of been pulled out onto the lane a little bit. So it's sort of just moved across there in, in, in a couple places. Um, this actually would be quite a normal thing. You'd, you'd get a bit of mud spreading out like that here. I'm going to just sort of put that like this. And you get rid of a fair bit of the, the, the grass there and maybe back there a little bit coming in on the corner so you're coming round like we'd be along the track there but then we come out round so this bit wouldn't really have anything growing in the middle of it it's quite a normal thing and yeah, we can swing this out a little bit here as well and just kind of like put a few extra bits there there we go um hmm. let's try that Oh, there was one other thing I wanted to do, wasn't there? we got one more little tiny thing to do with this. We want to go back into the landscaping, and we want to go to that one. And now I want to blend this down so that it's fairly even. So I'm just going to need to go a little bit bigger like that. And then let's just make that a bit stronger. And now just work this over a little bit with the smoothing function. So I just want to come here like this and come in there like that 
Right. So make all of that there. And that little bit up there. Okay. And like a magic trick, everything has just sort of just fallen into place. All the bits that we didn't want to see have now disappeared. Like a magic trick. That's awesome. There we go. I can do magic. Let's do that. Right. Finished. Now we test it. Jump down here. In we get. Drive around the circle and we just see if we've got this right or not. Okay. It's a little bit rough there. This bit down here is okay. I'm quite okay with that. And around that corner. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Okay, so most of it I'm actually quite pleased with. There was a little bit out on the corner that we just need to go over again. Landscaping. There. Bring that down. And there was just a bit around here. I don't think I'm going to be able to change this very well, though. It's a little bit there that's kind of a bit rough. Yeah, I don't think I can actually do very much about that. It's just kind of sticking up there. Magic trick doesn't seem to want to make it completely disappear, but we got most of it. All right, yeah, that'll be that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Right, uh, water tanker can actually stay there pretty much. We'll, we'll go and move it again later. And there's not a lot else that we want to do right now. We've got 5,600. Now, unfortunately, if we're buying nine pigs per day, that is two grand per day that that's going to end up costing us, which is a fair slice of money. All right, that, that is quite a bit of money to be paying out. But, yeah, it's... um could end up being essential. Right. Drop down here. All right. All right, I, I think we're doing all right. So, uh, there's nothing else that we want to do today, I don't think. Hoping there's not. Let's go to sleep. Let's see what tomorrow brings us. Quarter past eight on a February morning. It's not overly cold, which is a good thing. We have 3,749 litres of chicken feed in here. And if we mosey on around this way, you can see we have now got a pallet and a half of eggs. So if I just pick this one up. Move that one there. And just move that one back because of the slightly annoying mechanic on this pen. It only allows us to have two pallets spawn at a time. And we'll go over here and have a look at the pigs. So we've got 5,942 feet. They've hardly used any food and they've hardly used any water. So the water situation and the feed situation is going to be just fine for them at the moment. I will go in and we will buy another nine Bentime. I think it's Bentime. Um, Bentime Black Pied Piggies. Yeah, nine and buy. Yes, I do want to do that. Right. So they cost us 200 apiece, and we're already at 145 for the ones we bought last month. So I think next month we would actually be able to sell the first nine at a profit. So it might be that we end up having to do that a little bit in order to build up our numbers. Um, I'm not sure. Kind of have to wait and see on that one. Uh, the eggs and stuff can stay there. I'm not going to do anything different. There isn't really a lot else that we need to do this month. Like There really, really isn't. The, maybe we could do a little bit of repair work. But again, we don't really need to do that either. Uh, yeah, not, not a lot to do anywhere, really. Just... Skip forward until all right. Let's let's go back to bed and um, it's it's cold in February. Let's just go back to bed and and we'll wake up next month instead. Oh, there is one thing I want to have a look at. Uh, I can't remember now how much we were looking at for it was the corn head. I think we got nineteen grand for that one. 
That was the one that we were going to end up having to buy. There's that one there for 17. We can't use those. They're going to be too... They're going to be wrong sizes. They're going to be inconvenient. Uh, so possibly that one, although I think that one might be a little bit too small. That's exactly 3 meters. And then you've got this one, which is 3.4 meters. And that does actually make a difference. So I think we're going to need to try and get 20 grand for that one. Plus, we also need, I'm pretty sure I did already look at these and go over this. So, we need a planter as well, which is going to probably be that one, which is 8,000. Yep, it's going to be that one, which is the one that we're also using somewhere else. But it doesn't matter because that is pretty much our only option. So, we're going to need a 30 grand just to be able to do that lot. Let's go to sleep. Uh, I moved one of the pallets, and it's saying no more space to place the new pallet. So let me just go and move those first, so that we the other eggs will be able to spawn there in a minute. And then we've got to do our thingy. So do that, and bring that one back there, and then I'll do that. Okay, oops. Put that one down there, and there. Right, we'll do that. Now we need to do the the, the roll. So what we have got, um, we've got seven different items, and I'm going to roll a d20 because that way I can put a one or a two for sick animals. Three or four for a sick worker. Five or six is the pressure washer. We can't use it for another quarter. Um, vehicle major breakdown. Loan money to a friend. Vehicle minor breakdown. And we win the lottery. So the win the lottery is 13 or 14. Uh, if we roll higher than a 14, we re-roll. So I want a 13 or a 14. That's, 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 that's the number that we're after. So let me just roll that one and... Oh, I thought that was a 13. It's not. It's a 15. So I've got to re-roll that. Um, I really thought that was a 13. That would have been so cool. And All right. Let's try that again. And 18. Re-roll. I'm going to, like, this is where I roll, like, three three natural 20s on a D20 in a row, in, in a row or something like that. Um, this time we got, what's that? That's a 9. That's a 9. Yep, that's a 9. Uh, so... Two, four, six, eight, ten, nine, uh, yeah, nine and ten. Loan money to a friend. That's inconvenient. I didn't specify how much we would loan to a friend. I'm going to say two grand. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.